Flip your wrists over, stretch them out. sides, go back and forth. Okay, and then curl your toes under and just sit back to your feet. Stretch out your feet. Interlock your fingers, open up through the front of the chest. Lift up your hands, pull the core in. Bring your arms up. Interlock your fingers and point your index fingers towards each other. Just go side to side. Quick little stretch. With some core. Okay, so just so you can feel what what you want to be engaging. So your fingers are always going to be spread wide. Rule of thumb when they're on the mat. Okay, those are that's your stability. That's going to be your balance. And you want to squeeze your knees together. Okay, so. Now, you're going to lift your knees up, okay? So you're on your toes and your knees are hovering, like there. Then you're going to bring your knees apart. And then, so they're not touching the ground. Squeeze your knees together. Bring your knees apart. Squeeze the knees together. Keep pushing the ground away with your arms and your hands. Squeeze. So you should be feeling this. I'm feeling it. Squeeze, hold, and release back down, <laughs> right off the bat. Okay, now you're going to bring, you can have your toes curled under if you want, or you can have them, your toenails down to the ground. Okay, you're stacked. So elbows right over the wrists, hips over the knees, and then you're going to lift your right leg up and lift up, okay, and then you're going to bring that down, lift up, down, keep pulling the core in. Bend the knee, kick out, bend the knee, kick out, keep the knee up as high as you can. <clears throat> keep the core engaged. And down. So, same thing. the knee up on the opposite side, up and down. Keep pressing the ground away from you. Okay, and then you're going to lift up, kick that leg out, bring it down, bring it up. So you're going to feel this on your butt as well. And then bend the knee, kick out. OK, 
Okay, bring the knees down. Your butt's gonna be on fire. Sit back, stretch out. And come back up. You're going to press up into down dog. Okay. So just take a second here. Really stretch everything out. Maybe you want to alternate lifting heels. to bring the knee to the elbow and then back up. Okay, so we'll do that about eight times. Touch, up, touch, up, keep going, keep breathing. that foot down, stretch the left leg up, let the knee bend at first, open up the hip, and then tap, back up, tap, back up, four, five, six, Seven, eight. Back to down dog. And come into plank. Okay, so not up here, not down here. Definitely push the ground away. Toes together, squeeze the knees, squeeze the inner thighs. Hold, be over your wrists and kind of up, up on your toes. And then bend the knees, take a little break. Okay, so give your wrists and your hands a little break now. And you're gonna make your core work again. So, equal crunches. So you're gonna bend, take your legs up, bend the, the knees, like you're gonna sit down in a chair, okay? And then you're gonna, you might be able, depending on your flexibility, dimensions, um, you might only be able to have your legs crossed. You might be able to wrap them around, okay? And then you're going to take your arms up. You're going to cross the right over the left. So you're an eagle, okay? And then you're going to lit, um, <laughs> we're going to do 20. Okay, so lift and squeeze and extend and then crunch. How are you doing? Twenty, right? Okay, so lift up, hold, and make contact with your elbows to your knees. 
Bring them over to the right side. Squeeze up more. And then release. Hug your knees into your chest before we do the other side. So it's just going to be a short, quick core, just with a few different things. So I love core, and there's so many things to do, but I, uh, I'm not a big fan of boring, same thing every day. Okay, so stretch the legs up, left knee crosses over the right, and then maybe you might be able to twist again. Uh, arms up, left elbow over the right. Okay, so engage the core. And you're going to squeeze up and extend up. Don't give up on yourself. And then twist to the left, squeeze everything in, hold. And then release. Now, just bring your knees together and you're gonna do a little twist. Bring your head down, your knees over to the right. Bring your knees back through center over to the left. Okay, bring your palms down, facing down, and you're just going to bring your legs. Now you got to engage your core. Windshield wipers. So if you're a person that feels like um, you don't really light core, then maybe you just bend your knees and go over from left to right, okay? You still have to activate the core. This is much harder to keep the legs straight and the feet together. And we're not going down into the full expression of windshield wipers. You might even be able to just hang on to your mat and go from side to side. Okay, so bring your knees back in. Bring your feet into Bhattakonasana. Just pull in, release the hips. Bring your feet out wide. Okay, like you're doing the splits. And then you're just gonna bring your hands down beside you and slide from side to side. So you're lifting up the shoulders. And then bring your hands in through center and lift up with your feet, your hands flexed. Really lift up, hold. Bring your hands out to the side. Bring your hands back in front. So we'll do that 10 times. So these are not like crazy. They're just 
if you do them correctly, you can feel everything. You're just making your whole body work at the same time. Like even if you had your palms facing up and you bring your hands up to touch and then back down, you can still feel that your core is doing all the work. Okay, release down. Hug your right knee in. Take a little twist over to the left. Right arm up to the side. And then come back to center. Right leg extends out. Left knee bends. Left knee to the right. Left arm up to the side. Great, and that's it. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Really short, really quick. Add it to whatever you want, just if you feel like doing something a little more strenuous. All right, bye.